And if you've had COVID-19, are you a now are you now immune to it? Some countries are now talking about giving out immunity certificates. Dr. Maria Simbra explains whether that would happen here in the U.S. Several countries, including the United States, have considered giving immunity certificates to people with antibodies against the novel coronavirus. The thought is they would be protected and could go back to work. But is this practical? If the certificates are valuable, people may be tempted to counterfeit or get sick. A major worry is are we going to create a scenario in which uh, people want to get infected so that they can get a passport and get back to work? I don't think we want to create an incentive for people to contract this virus. And people who remain uninfected may face discrimination. I definitely worry that we're going to wind up penalizing people who follow the recommendations to isolate themselves and so don't contract the virus, that they'd be excluded then from the activities of normal life. Furthermore, antibody testing has not yet found its ideal standard. The FDA is allowing the currently available tests under emergency provisions. That is not the same as an FDA approval to where they validate and check everything out and say this really meets all the criteria for a treatment or for, you know, an assay to demonstrate protection. And we don't yet know how protective the antibodies are. From convalescent plasma studies, there is some indication they do protect. But for how long? And there are some very early reports out of China suggesting that it's not very long lived the first time. And current testing, called titers, only shows the presence of antibodies to the virus, but not whether these antibodies neutralize the virus. I don't think you can say patient X is protected, patient Y is not based on a simple titer. Well, I can imagine this as a policy that would do some good in very targeted, very specific places. Um, I just don't think that it's a substitute for the expensive and potentially painful steps that we're going to need to take to get everybody back uh, into the economy. Further along in the pandemic, once we understand where the virus is and how long it lasts in a community, the less relevant immunity certificates might be. Any effort to get people back to work ethically should benefit the people who must remain home. In Peters Township, I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.